Hey guys, it's Jenny and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I want to share with you my recipe for a classic meatloaf. It's made with lean ground beef, full of flavor and perfectly moist. It's definitely a favorite in my house. This recipe is actually so good that last time I made it, my kids actually asked for seconds. So let's get started with our ingredients. For this recipe, what you're gonna need is two pounds of lean ground beef, one small white onion, finely minced, two eggs, one cup of breadcrumbs, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of seasoning salt, a teaspoon of garlic pepper, a half a cup and a fourth a cup of ketchup, a fourth a cup of brown sugar, and two teaspoons of mustard. So let's get started by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. We're also gonna wanna prepare a loaf pan lightly with some cooking spray or you can even place some aluminum foil in there for easy removal and easy cleanup. To a large mixing bowl, add your ground beef, your onion, eggs, breadcrumbs, Worcestershire sauce, pepper, seasoning salt, and garlic powder with a half a cup of the ketchup. Mix it well with your hands and then add it to your loaf pan. So here's a little tip when it comes to making meatloaf. I always like to cook mine in a loaf pan, but you could also just do it on a sheet pan. But you wanna make sure you stick with a really lean ground beef. Everything that cooks off is gonna sit at the bottom of your loaf pan or your baking sheet, and the more lean it is, the less fat you have at the bottom there. But your meatloaf isn't ready for the oven yet. Now you're gonna to need to work on the glaze. Mix your remaining 1 4th cup of ketchup with your brown sugar and your mustard. Now top that on your meatloaf. Place it in the oven and allow it to bake for about an hour and a half or until your meatloaf is completely cooked through and at a safe temperature. I allow mine to settle for several minutes before I remove it from my pan and slice it for serving. And that's it, a super classic recipe, simple to make, and I hope that you enjoy it just as much as we do. You can find the full written recipe at thediaryofarealhousewife.com. You can also find hundreds of more easy recipes just like this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow, and we will see you guys next time.